Okay, uh, welcome to another CircWorks art cast. Uh, today we're going to be drawing a character named Apollo Knox, and if you're not familiar with him, he's based on a, a Facebook game that I used to work on called uh, Miscrits, and he's like the big villain. So uh, this is part of a contest that I did on my website, um, and basically uh, every once in a while I'm going to be giving out uh, free sketches, uh, and basically I'll just either throw out a question or say share something and you can be entered in it that way. Sometimes I'll do something where I'll just pick somebody at random that's a follower on my website um, or not my website but on my Facebook page and uh, if you're not following me there you can follow me it's at uh, Facebook slash CircWorks S-E-R-K-W-O-R-K-S and uh, just follow me there and then you could uh, you could have a chance to uh, win a sketch so uh, First off, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do things a little differently today because usually what I do is I draw in a uh, real light blue pencil. Um, and I've kind of explained why I do that before, but it's just, it, it basically what it boils down to is that's just what I'm most comfortable drawing with. Um, so to, the problem with drawing with a blue pencil is that you don't, it doesn't always show up on camera. So I'm going to do things a little differently. Um, this character is uh, I'm going to kind of uh, duplicate a rough sketch that I drew a while back um, and it was never fleshed out it was just a concept drawing um, so I'm going to kind of look at look at that the style I worked in for that and kind of duplicate it and take it all the way to a finished drawing with inks and everything like that um, so what I did I kind of pre-prepped a little bit this was the original sketch here so this is kind of what I want to um, want to replicate and do like a finished drawing out of um, so this is like an old sketch, and I posted this on, on the Miskrit's uh, message boards a while back. Hello, hello everyone in the chat. Um, so like I was saying, usually I'll start drawing real light with the, with a blue pencil like this, and it doesn't really show up, and it's kind of boring for the people that are, have been watching. So I'm going to do things a little differently. Uh, I basically did a pre, like kind of a rough sketch. It still needs some details here, but this is, this is the blue line pencil. But what I'm going to do in a darker pencil, I'm going to show you kind of how I got to that point. And so it's going to kind of, I'm going to kind of do it like you'd see maybe a cooking show where they don't have time to cook the whole recipe. So they'll have things prepared along the way. And then in a half hour, they'll bring out the fully finished thing because they've already got one pre-prepared. So I'm going to, going to kind of do things like that and we'll see how this works. And if it works out good, great. We'll, we'll continue to do things like that. I just don't want to sit here for a half hour drawing something in blue pencil that doesn't pick up on the camera. So anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the gesture drawing. And I, I typically I typically start off with the head. And so head's kind of an oval. So as you can see, this is a little darker. You'll be able to see. And then the spine. And the spine kind of dictates where I'm going to kind of place the figure. He's kind of going to be curved like this. If you saw that original sketch that I posted. Um, then his chest. And again, these aren't really drawing tutorials so much because there's a, there's a lot more. But, you know, maybe you can pick up on a few things that I'm doing. So I'll try to, I'll try to add a little insight to what I'm doing here. But it's not, it's not like a step-by-step -step drawing tutorial. It's, this is just basically just kind of show you a little bit of my process and everything and, and finish a, a drawing. So basically I build everything with, with cylinders and stick figures. So, so I'll draw like the, the hands and the pose that he's in, he's going to be in, he's going to kind of be this character. He, he's very powerful and he, I, and maybe the concept has changed because when I originally designed him, I think once he actually went in the game, some of the concept changed a little bit, but, um, I kind of picture that he, he's got all these tattoos and he's got one in particular on his chest and it's kind of like an eye and because he's kind of like the overseer of this mystery and world. Um, and when he becomes powerful, in my original vision, his tattoos would glow and he has different elemental powers, you know, nature, you know, fire, everything. And his, his tattoos would actually glow depending on what um, I should be drawing while I'm doing this instead of just talking. But um, his... Uh, his tattoos would kind of glow depending on what elemental power he's using. Um, so anyway, so his hands are going to kind of be in front of his chest, kind of like this, like a power is emanating from his chest and he's just kind of bringing it out almost like a power, uh, you know, like an energy ball or something like that. So, um, 
so that's kind of the the idea behind this so so his arms are going to be like that and then his kind of his forearms are going to be pointed in front of his chest like that and again I kind of do everything with cylinders it's really if when you're drawing I don't care how experienced you are you really you should always try to draw with gestures like this because it's just easier to get the form you know because really what you're if you try to draw exactly what you're seeing sometimes it's difficult but if you can if you can kind of see what the figure looks like underneath it should help you out a little bit so I always start everything out with a, a gesture drawing like this um, his waist I usually do start off with a circle so here you know a circle is a head circle is a waist um, and again stick figure legs he'll have one leg that's kind of out here and he's gonna have one that's kind of at an angle here uh, okay I'm just gonna kind of fill in his waist building the cylinders for the legs you would have it like a knee joint here and then the foot which is kind of in this position since he's got boots on you're not gonna see his toes or anything but it's gonna kind of it's almost like I'll draw over here it's kind of almost like an arrow shape like the tip of a tie but then I kind of round it off so in this position the foot's gonna kind of look like that and of course he'd have his ankles here uh, another his leg here and this leg is going to kind of be tilted back another cylinder here this this view legs kind of kind of be in a side view here and it's all just kind of built up with geometric shape oh you, I'm drawing you can't see it sorry let me hold it up <laughs> I drew that whole I drew that whole leg and you probably didn't even see that foot and you probably didn't even see it I apologize so anyway um, and his hands so I've kind of got this his hands I kind of usually the palm of the hands I kind of do in this shape yeah I know I, <laughs> I'm a little late to that sorry I'll try to so I'll I'll redraw it here so because this is just a this is just me showing you how I came to the the figure so like I was saying his foot here is kind of like the say if it's the tip of a tie like I drew here and then I kind of round it off which is kind of what you're seeing right there um, so his hands they're going to, like I said, they're going to kind of be over his chest like he's pulling out um, powerful energy, his fingers. So if you were to see his hands like this, I always kind of, if you draw that, that'll kind of give you the shape of the, the fingers and how, you know, how long they are because they'll, they'll get short, shorter towards the edge and longer in the middle. And then, of course, the thumb. So. So here we go and this might not be the exact position I'll, I've got in the final but it's it's close so imagine just lightning like this coming off of them you know generating this big giant powerful energy okay so now the head now the head here we've got a circle let me move this down so say this is a circle if this was a flat well, if it was a flat circle, it would actually be a circle. But say this is an oval. If it's flat, if you were to divide it like that, it would look like this. Now, you got to kind of imagine that the head is in the three-dimensional shape. So if you were to cut straight through, it wouldn't actually cut straight through because it's, it's round. So a straight cut on, along the side would curve like that. And I all, anytime I draw a head, I always do these same two lines. One across here where I'm going to set the eye line and the ears, and you'll see. And then one right here for the center. Now, it doesn't look in the center because he's not facing straight towards you. He's facing this way. So it's not going to be totally in the center. Then I'll put in his eyes right along these lines here is where I'm going to draw in his eyes. And you'll notice when you draw eyes, typically each eye has a has an eye space in the middle of each eye. So, you know... If you're drawing, I mean, if you're drawing the eyes and they're that close, it's going to kind of look funny. Or if you're drawing the eyes and they're this far away. Now, sometimes you can, if you're doing a real comic-y, real cartoony caricature, you could do that. Like if you're drawing, say, a Charlie Brown style character and you draw his eyes like, you know, like that. 
that gets a good effect. And sometimes when I'm, for whatever reason, sometimes when I'm drawing kids, I will set their eyes further apart. I don't know. I just, I kind of sometimes like that look. But in general, there's an eye space in between your eyes. Hey, Miguel, how you doing? Welcome, everyone that's just joining. Um, so, okay, so now we've got the eyes, and I apologize for not looking at the chat more often. I'm just kind of concentrating on drawing. Um, now, where this line curves down, your ears are going to line up with your eyes. Hold on a second. My screen just went blank. Hello. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I can't see the ch chat because the my screen just went blank. There we go. All right. Sorry. You guys can't see that. Okay. So... If you didn't know what you're doing and you're drawing your, your eyes kind of like you got your eyes here, you would think, oh, line up the eyes with the ears, your ears would be here. But since this line, we've already established where this line's going. So we're following the curve of this line, and that's where his ears are going to be. They're going to follow and be kind of dead set right there. Now, actually, when I finish this, you're not even going to see his probably his ears because he's got long hair and it's going to cover up. But I always like to just kind of when I'm doing my gesture, throw his ears in there just so you can kind of get an idea where that's going. All right. Now for his nose. So obviously his nose is going to follow straight down this middle path. Um, his head's kind of tilted up, so you're going to see the bottom of his nose. And for now, I'm just going to fill it in as this kind of a shape. Again, I always work with geometric shapes. And then you can always, when you get done, you can kind of flesh that out. This is kind of a long, yeah, a darker thing, so I can't really show you there. But anyway, so anyway, so we got his nose. Now he's going to be, it's going to look like he's smiling. This is kind of a, this will, this will kind of show you a really what, how expressive eyebrows can be. Because right now he's like, oh, this guy's really happy. You know, he's having a good old time, which isn't exactly what, what we want because this guy's kind of evil and mean and wants to, basically control everything so this just shows you how expressive the eyebrows are once you draw if you draw the eyebrows in like this they're kind of cocked up look how evil that makes them just like that you know so the eyebrows are very expressive so usually anytime I'm drawing any kind of character no matter how cartoon you can see even when I drew this little guy here and you see that I even drew little eyebrows even as basic as that because you can do so much with eyebrows so um, so there we go. That's kind of the character. Now, where his brow kind of kicks up, I kind of like to angle that and his cheekbone right here. Most of the way I draw characters, they kind of have that. The brow and the cheekbone bone kind of defines that. And kind of like that. The loading. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I wonder if that's a computer issue or if it's, if everyone, is everyone getting that problem with, the, with it uh, loading? Okay, so anyway, so here we go. I probably won't spend too much more time with these gesture drawings. I'm probably going to go on to some more uh, complete complete work. But so just kind of fill in his some of his mus muscles and everything. Um, got that. You know, his hair is going to be out like that. So that's that's kind of in a nutshell. That's the gesture I drew to, to come to something like this, which is, you know, a little more rough. That was the original concept sketch I did. Now I'm going to, I got some nice Bristol paper here. And you, I know this is real hard to see. Um, it's kind of, it's roughed out for the most part. I'll, show, I'll hold it up a little more. But it's basically that same that same drawing but without all the the sketchiness of it just the the main outline there's still a few things that I gotta add though some details before I actually ink it um, so let me see I gotta sharpen my pencil oh no wonder I'm grabbing the wrong pencil okay so let's see and again I apologize that you can't this it doesn't pick up very well on this and that's why I was just showing you with that other pencil It, it just, it all, it all takes practice. It's, that's the thing with drawing. It's just patience. When you say, you know, I've been doing this for a while. So, I mean, really don't get discouraged. But if, if you're at all interested in art, you have to, I mean, it's a, 
it's a time thing. You have to invest the time. I mean, there's some people that can pick things up just and like they're automatically just amazing at drawing and I envy those people, but I had a lot of practice. So if you practice a lot and if you really, I think you really have to, for the most part, I think you really have to pa have a passion for it because I have a passion for, it. I mean, I, that's what I do at work. That's what I do on my free time. And that's just what I love to do. So if you, if you, if you get a chance, if you're lucky enough to get to draw as much as I do, you just get better. And I'm by no means, I mean, I'm, you know, even as long as I've been doing this, I mean, there's so many things I have left to learn that I'm sure a more experienced artist could look at my drawing and pick it apart and say, oh, well, this doesn't look quite right or that. But, you know, I just do the best I can. And that's another thing is like when you're, when you're first starting off, a lot you, you tend to be kind of nervous about like showing your work and things like that. Maybe you don't think it's too good or but it really helps to to uh you know get what you're drawing out there and you can get critiques on it and things like that and also get in the habit of sharing things and that's something i got to work on a little bit more because the you know the more you share the more comfortable you get showing your stuff around um and not i used to take drawings and I, i'd say well this doesn't look that good and i redo it or i wouldn't show it but you kind of got to get over that kind of mindset and just because you'll always get better that's why you should always sketch like if you got a sketchbook kind of sketch every day in your sketchbook and you know you'll you're always going to get better and and I, I guess basically what i'm saying is you just don't be afraid to show your work or don't think it's it's not good enough yet because you're never never going to be totally happy with your work and if you just kind of keep it locked up that's not i mean behind closed doors or whatever you however you want to phrase it um you're not going to get you're not going to get any better so sorry about that <laughs> i never answer that phone <laughs> so i'm just going to let it ring all right so i think for the most part he's kind of sketched out well like like i said you got to kind of i mean I know you don't think they look that good, but it's it's just good. It's good. It's good to get in the habit of sharing sharing your artwork, even as a beginner. Okay. So I'm just right now. I'm adding some detail. I don't know how well you can see that, but he's got a lot of like he's got a print on his his. It's kind of an unusual design. I don't know. I think in the beginning he was kind of based off of like a Chris Angel type because he's kind of got this dark magic. And uh, I want he he I was told I think basically the only thing I was told was he's he's supposed to be he's supposed to be handsome, but he's supposed to be uh, you know uh, evil and uh, have long hair. And so so based on that was, that's the only direction I had. So. This is kind of what I came up with. All right. So he's got all kinds of stuff going on. He's got a cape and he's got these little, I don't know what you would call these. He's this, and this is a little darker here. You can kind of see he's got these things kind of just flying off and it's basically just for effect. It, I don't know if it, it has any serves any purpose other than aesthetics, but um, and it looks cool when he's kind of flying around that he's got all, the, all these little, you know, it's almost like, I don't know, like, like belt, like belt buckles or loops, not buckles, but just the entire belt, like hanging off the chains that kind of whip around. And I <laughs> don't know. I don't know what inspired that, but. Sometimes, sometimes you do stuff because it makes sense, and sometimes you just do things because it looks cool. Hold on a second. I was just reading the chat here. Okay, let's see. All right. <laughs> it's 
So Hassan, are you you you're, you said you're in Phoenix? Because I'm in Arizona. So yeah, we're I guess if that if I got that right, then we're both living here in Arizona. Yeah, most of the people that follow me are from all over the place, so I never know where people are from. Uh, I think I could probably maybe start inking this guy. Like, I, I mean, most of it is already pre-prepped. I thought there was going to be a lot more. Let me look. I've got a, I've got my reference material here. I'll show you guys. So I just pulled this off of. That's that's kind of what he looked like, you know, fully illustrated part. Like I said, uh, Chris Mendoza, who did the actual game artwork that you see in the game, he may have changed a few things, but that's. That's kind of the that's kind of mostly what you see. So I should have showed you guys that before. So I'm gonna just look back at this and make sure I've got every all the little you know little bands and and belt buckles and all that kind of stuff in the right place before I start to fill in some inks on this guy. All right. So how many of you guys are following me just from from the post that was on the Miskrits forum? Because if you're interested, the next one I, I'm going to do is a, I did a, a fire ant back when I was working for a broken bulb. Um, I did a fire ant. And I never got to finish them. Um, Miskrit, I mean, a fire ant Miskrit. And uh, so I'm going to, I think the next, the next live stream I do or the next major live stream, it's always, there's always a chance I might just pop on here just to do something just for fun. But the next kind of one that's, that I've kind of know for a fact what I'm going to be doing is going to be uh, finishing up that ant for miscrits. And then, uh, then I'm going to give that uh, to the guys over, over at Broken Bulb and they're going to put it in the game. So it's kind of like a freelance thing that I'm going to do for them. All right. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot the effects. So we got to, we have to, you know, it's not a picture unless we've got some, you know, some cool effects, especially when you've got a big boss like this guy. So we're going to do some lightning effects coming off of here. Lightning, I don't, I don't know what it is about lightning, but usually when you get villains and you draw lightning and it's, oh, you can't even see that, can you guys? I guess I always hearken back to like, like uh, Return of the Jedi when the Emperor comes out and he's got that Force lightning and it just. Ever since then, I kind of, <laughs> I think any character that kind of shoots lightning out is kind of like evil. And also, you know, you see that in Avatar: The Last Airbender, where the Firebenders can also they learn how to bend lightning and so. Unless you're Pikachu, I don't know of too many. I can't think of too many like good good characters that can shoot out lightning. I could be wrong. Well, there's like static shock. I guess there's a bunch of, or black lightning and all kinds of, I, I guess if I really thought about it, there's, there's some heroes that do use lightning to their advantage, but I'm always thinking of villains. You guys can't even see that. I'm I I'm sorry about that, but I got I have to draw this in there, or else. Because the problem, if I don't draw, if I try to draw it later, then the parts where it goes over the hair, I'll draw in the hair, and then you the, then the lightning will like you'll see the lightning or the hair through the lightning, which I don't particularly want. So. Almost done, and then I'll start inking, and you guys will be able to see kind of what I'm doing again. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should start practicing drawing with a regular pencil, but then I have to do all that erasing and everything, and I don't really want to do that. Those are good names. I like them. I probably won't do any of the naming. Um, 
I'm probably just going to hand it over to Caitlin at Broken Bulb, and she'll probably come up with some of the names. So if you, if when I'm doing it, if you want to suggest it to those guys, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to, you know, consider them. But Scorch Ant sounds cool. I kind of like that. All right, so I got my trusty Pentel Pocket Brush pen, which is usually what I used to to ink with. <laughs> That would be cool. I'm surprised there isn't a platypus in the game already. Okay. So right now I'm just kind of drawing his hair. See, I almost drew through the, where I indicated where the lightning was going to go, which I don't want to do. This this stage takes a little more concentrating, so I will try to keep an eye on the chat, which I haven't been doing a very good job of, but forgive me if I'm spending too much time drawing and not enough time reading. see that and if you can't see that then we got a major problem because I can't draw any darker than that okay here we go with those expressive eyebrows at this scale the eyes are kind of tricky because they're so small I'm going to leave the pupils out for now because I'll go in there with it's kind of hard to sometimes it's hard to draw eyeballs with the with this particular pen. I need to get like a just a regular kind of flat pen to do that because this is actually this is more like a brush. The new dark miscrit that has been created. No, it looks like vomit. I is it, you mean it looks like vomit and that it's bad, or it looks like vomit and that it's supposed to look like that? I'll have to look. I, I may have seen. I saw some of the new ones that Chris was working on, but. Yeah, I have to go in and look at all the latest miscrits and everything. <laughs> yeah, I think the the idea of the dark miscrit it started off because I did the first dark miscrit and I, I, this was the last time I was casting. I had mentioned that I still, I'm trying to remember who it was, was the first one. Um, but it was, it was just supposed to be like a one-off special and I guess they put it in the stores and I guess it did well for them. So then they just started making them all dark miscrits. So, but it was, uh, and it wasn't even, it was a, I know it was a water miscrit because I, it originally, originally it wasn't called dark so-and-so, it was called dark water. Um, and then the, whatever the miscrit's name was. So I'm trying to remember who it was. Uh, 
This is right now what I'm doing is is like cuffs. He's got kind of like armored cuffs. Again, not sure if they serve any purpose. You know, I don't think it's like a Wonder Woman thing where he actually can use them to deflect bullets or anything like that, but But they look cool, well, or I think they do. All right, got that. I wonder how we're doing on time, because last time I, I think once I got out over an hour last time, which I might try to keep it a little bit shorter, if possible. I mean, I'm going to finish this and I'm not going to skip through it, but I think the the video cut out had to be two parts, so. I'm thinking maybe it's a good idea to keep try to keep these under an hour. This is his collar. And of course he's got the majority of his chest is exposed, so you can see all his ink work here. Actually, I don't know if it's actually technically ink because it's in his world it kind of glows. Has anyone wrote any kind of fan fiction on Apollo Knox? Because I know we didn't really go into too much about like his origin or you know i know there's there's some there was there was some backstory on but i imagine people have probably written some fan fiction that might be pretty interesting doing his belt buckles take your time <laughs> i no i i i I know you guys will stay, but, you know, if it cuts out, then, you know, the simple solution to that to make everyone happy is just maybe, if possible, do do more of these things. So, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm I'm not going to rush through it. If it takes over an hour, it will. Then that's what it takes. But it just seems like the Ustream decided it was going to kick me off last time. So, okay, now. Go. That's a good. I just I just read that. Yeah, the 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 his bracelets could deflect lightning, or I guess that makes sense. It's kind of fun to when you design a character because a lot of times. When artists design something or they think something up and they'll just make it look cool. And then, you know, especially in comic books, and then people will come along and, oh, well, here's the reason why that is. or And they'll just kind of make it up and, you know, and it sometimes it even becomes canon. So that's kind of cool. I've done that before in the past, too, where you kind of think, oh, well, what's what's really the idea behind the way this guy looks? And. How can we work that into his origin story? All right. How's it looking so far? Hello. Hey, everyone is just joining out in the chat. All right. So anyone that's just joined, we're drawing Apollo Knox from Miskritz, the big bad villain. Based on an original concept sketch that I did way, way back. All right. How's that? I, I, it's, it's funny if you could see this, the way I've got this camera rigged up, I've built this stand out of PVC and it's because before I just had it kind of off my camera and it was at an angle. So everything was skewed, the perspective. So it would look when I was drawing him, it looked like his head was like huge and his feet were all small, but it was just because you're, I was, you're basically looking at, at it like this, the way I had the camera set up before. So there's gotta be a better way to do this, but Anyway, for now, I just kind of got some weird PVC set up and the camera attached to it. And it works, but it like kind of blocks my, my video monitor. 
the way it is. So if I do more of these, I've got to figure out a different different way. <laughs> I should just do a video with another camera someday and show you the setup because it's kind of crazy. Kind of a Mickey Mouse setup. Okay, where are we at? I lost track of where I was. Before I forget, I'm going to draw at least one kind of lightning thing going on here. Otherwise, when I fill in his hair, I might draw right over it. There'll be more of these, but the good thing about that's the good thing about this pen is if you can see, I can, I can, it's like a brush, so I can make lines really thin if I want. Like the lightning, I want to be real thin. Or like if I'm drawing something that's in the shadows, I can make it look darker. Yeah, I, well, I have a try. It's actually, I got one of those little, it's kind of, I don't know what you call it, but it's a tripod and it, it's got, it's, you can twist it around and you can, so you can wrap it around things. So I just kind of built this stand and then I've, I took the tripod and then I just wrapped it around the, uh, the stand. But the, the problem with the tripod is it, it's not really meant to go directly over what you're filming because I'm shooting kind of straight down. I'm sure they make something that I could use, but this was just, hey, I had some PVC pipe and uh, and I need something quick. So that's kind of what I came up with. But yeah, I'm sure there's certain tripods that, you know, can do a straight down view. Because um, I know in the movies they've got like, you know, I don't know what they're called, like cranes and things like that, that, that take those kind of shots. But for like webcams and things like that. I don't know. All right. So there's going to be more of these, more of this lightning here. I'm getting some sort of air message. Hold on just a second. Let me check and see what that is. I don't know what it is. Okay. Never mind. I think we're good. All right. So back to, back to down here. Where are we on? Let's finish drawing these little belt thingies, whatever you want to call them, that are hanging off his waist. And I tend to rotate my canvas around a little. This, In a lot of cases it's easier to draw towards me than against me, so that's why in this particular instance I turned the drawing upside down. And then this one is kind of going over and back of his legs, so you're not going to see as much of that one. <laughs> Where did you go, Case? You're missing your own drawing. Uh, I'm in Arizona. I don't know who else is in Arizona. I know Kay is the one who I'm drawing this. She's, uh, she's in Germany. So... It'd be interesting to see how much it's going to cost me to ship this to you, but not that that's a problem. It shouldn't be that much, really. So yeah, if you just if you're just now joining, this is part of a contest that I did. Um, so on my, if you follow my Facebook page, it's at Facebook slash CircWorks. Um, I'll do some, I'll do some drawings or some contests where you can win a sketch like this. And basically you just, if you win, you just tell me a character that you want me to draw. And I think with this one and different contests, I might do differently. But with this one, I just posted something. I said, please share this and comment on it. And, uh, and you can win. And that's how, the, and I picked a couple winners from that. Um, sometimes I just might pick 
a, you know, a general one of my followers that is following me on Facebook at random. Um, and then for this one, the prize was either it was supposed to be either a, 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 a five by seven full body sketch, which I decided just to do them at eight and a half by 11, make them a little bigger. So that will kind of be at my discretion. So just because like if I offer another five by seven and you think you're going to get an eight by 10, that might not ha happen. Just depends how generous I feel. Um, but or the other one was like a tr like a trading card size. I think they're two by three or something of just the head, but in color. So and it seemed like most people are like me and they'd rather have a black and white of the whole body. So. So it's basically, you know, one character of your choosing if you win. So if you're not already following me on Facebook, it might be a good idea to do that if you want to enter to win some free artwork. And I think another thing that I might start doing is uh, is like a uh, like a request thing where um, where I'll just I'll draw like uh, trading cards like the heads of uh just people can suggest like to like characters from pop culture that they want and i'll just i'll just you know draw them or or whatever i might i might do those as commissions or i might just do them where if you want to see me draw them i'll draw them and then i'll, I'll just end up selling them on my website or something like that but um like a request like a total request um art jam or something along those lines <laughs> I've been, I know and it, people that are commenting about certain miscrits. I've been so out of the loop on miscrits. I haven't been drawing miscrits for a long time. So it's kind of fun to get back into drawing some of this stuff because I really, I really enjoy that whole world. Uh, how's that looking? Got his foot here. You can't, why can't you subscribe? Do you not, are you not on Facebook? I wonder if there's a, for people who maybe aren't on Facebook, I don't know, I have to think. There might be something else I can do too. But yeah, that's something I guess I didn't even consider. Or maybe a good idea, maybe I can do something on Ustream. So if also maybe if you follow me on Ustream, I can I can, you know, pick from that too. I don't know. I'm just usually when I'm on Ustream, I'm just drawing and I don't really I haven't really paid much attention to how the social media features work on Ustream. <laughs> yeah, I think the last one I did for if I remember correctly, it was Elena or Alina. I think that I think that I think that's the right name. She just got hers that I sent out. I think she just got it today and she was real happy with it. So hopefully you'll be just as happy. Oh, okay. So there's another one of those little belt things that's kind of flying behind here. Behind his legs in the background. And then this thing's kind of kicking up. Let me see if I can show you this reference again so he's got this thing kind of hangs down in front of him and then it's kind of got these things too with the little metal tips at the end um, so that's that's what I'm gonna do right here And it looks like we're at about 45 minutes. So it probably, I'm guessing it's probably going to be over an hour. So hopefully Ustream won't kick me off again or break up my, break up my broadcast into two like it did last time. But I guess there's worse things that can happen. 
Yeah, the one thing that was kind of surprised me that on Ustream, you, I don't think really there's a way to show your uh, desktop with that. There's like a third party software that I used um, and it had some problems with the test, but I'm going to need to figure something out if I'm going to draw, if I'm going to do that miscrit live because him, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do on the computer. Um, so the, the one that I, thing that I did use, I had a friend that was on the iPad and he wasn't, he was having some problems viewing it or it, maybe it was not an iPad, but it was some form of tablet. Um, but it also, the third party software that you use to show your desktop on Ustream, it splashes their logo all over the whole thing. So that's what I like. I, I wanted to use Google, Google Hangouts so bad because with that, I can, I can put my logo and I can put everything on there and it has every single feature I wanted except for no chat. So, so that's why I'm doing Ustream. So maybe in the future they'll add some other functions. You're missing some parts of the stream. Is anyone, is that happened to anyone else? It sounds like Hassan's, his thing's breaking up and I, I'm not sure if that's just his connection or his computer or, oops, my breast just split which means it was giving me two lines, which I don't want. So I'm just trying to get it back to normal. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the tips of these brushes will split and then you, you've got these two lines, which you don't, unless you're looking for a specific look, you don't want that. So that's his cape kind of coming back here. I gotta check colors real quick. Um, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So his cape and these things that hang off are both black. So if I draw them both black, you're not gonna see you're not gonna see this stuff in here. So I might have to do either or. I'm not sure. I might have to make these black and then the cape just keep a lighter color. Of course, this is gonna be black and white. So it's either gonna be black or white. The defeated Knox. Um, I didn't. I didn't draw the defeated Knox. Uh, there was two art. I did the original concept sketches, and the the funny thing about Apollo Knox is he was actually concepted earlier on in the game, and he was kind of kept a secret, and we didn't really add him into the game until further on. So I had already moved on to another game at the time. So once he once he was ready to go into the game. Um, other artists did the game game art for that, so I think that was there's there are two Chris's that worked there, Chris Clark and Chris Mendoza, and they uh, they both I think worked on the final Apollo Knox, um, and I don't remember who did who. I think I think Chris Mendoza did the first evolution and maybe the third, and then Chris Clark may have done the other one, but I don't remember exactly. I'm going to take a real quick break from my brush pen and then I'm going to fill in his his pupils here. It hangs for you? What is it you mean like it's lagging or is it am I following that? Is that in regards to the the uh, stream all right there we go that that tiny stuff like that if you want it it's difficult to get with the brush uh so i'm going to go ahead and fill in some more lightning effects here oh it was yeah uh, I'm sorry about that. I don't know if it's that's my end or what. I don't know if it's Ustream, if it's I've got the quality set up fairly high. It's not all the way, but I'm just afraid if I turn it down, it, it's gonna be kind of hard to see what I'm doing, even though it might stop it from lagging. Is it like really bad? Oh it oh it displays an ad? Oh that sucks. That's another thing about if I was using Google Hangouts. If I could just figure out how to do chat on that, we wouldn't deal with all these issues. And we could have guests on and everything. 
I don't know if you guys have ever used Google Hangouts, but it's pretty cool. I use it sometimes like when I'm meeting with other people online and things like that. But, but now I've already kind of started on Ustream, so it's like, oh, do I jump ship if I can find a way to do it? Because if, if I could find like a standalone chat where people could just have the the Google Hangout open and then have some sort of chat off to the side. That would be cool. I would much rather do that. But yeah, my brush split again. Yeah. Okay, more lightning effects here. I'm just throwing in all these lightning effects and then I'm going to go over it and start adding more darker blacks and things like that. Yeah, actually, I work with uh, Chris Clark at the new studio, so we're back working together again, which is fun. Let's Komodo dragon would be cool. I'm kind of a little behind in the chat, but. <laughs> Glad you guys like it. So I'm trying to think of what I can talk about while I'm doing this, because right now I'm just kind of doing more repetitive lightning effects. I don't know I could, if there's any philosophy behind how I draw lightning. <laughs> it's just kind of squiggly kind of lines and not squiggly. It kind of make them a little sharp, but some of them can be, you can either draw them a little more roundish or kind of straight. I wonder if I'm going to have to get a new brush sooner or later because it kind of keeps splitting. All right. So maybe, maybe, a, ah, why is it doing that? Okay. Maybe a little more. I think he's got more hair than I drew, so. black flames underneath them. I could probably do something like that. Let me see how much black is actually going to show up in the character beside be, be, beside ah, before I uh, do any black and back. But that could it would look it would make the lightning show up, but let me let me see kind of how it's looking cuz that might uh, oh, Kay says lightning only and she it's her drawing so I think you've been outvoted. <laughs> But that wasn't that wasn't a bad suggestion at all. I mean that typically when you like sometimes when you draw lightning, um, you you can draw like if you've got a black background. Um, it works with stars too, but 
Um, if you got a black background, then you can just take like a white, like white, another brush with white paint and make your lightning like that or just draw on your stars that way. And right there is why I drew the lightning first. So I, and I'm just drawing it darker because it, because sometimes I'll forget and I'll just start painting and I'll go right over it or inking. Technically, this is ink, not paint, but it's similar enough, I guess. That's that is true. He is. It is. Well, yeah, he does. He does use different elements, though. But but if you prefer just lightning, then I totally understand. So I don't know if he I don't know if he uses more than one element at a time or if, or maybe I don't even know if the new version in the game if he actually used the different elements or not I guess I'm showing my ignorance to the character that I had a hand in creating <laughs> is I don't my problem is I was never good enough to get to him, so you have to be pretty good at that game in order to get to this guy. And from what I hear, beating him is an entirely different thing. Have you guys defeated Apollo Knox? I find myself being silent again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of hard to remember to talk while you're drawing. You get into it, you know? I don't want it to be so boring for you guys. And when I say guys, I mean guys and girls. That's just... I wonder if I... You know what? I think I'm going to have to refill my pen real quick because it's hold on I'll be right back it won't take me too long okay I'm back sorry about that I uh, I should have refilled it before so I'll kind of show you I think I I think I kind of showed how ah, I think I showed how to do this before but so I've got, yeah, it's pretty empty. So I've got this little tube here. And then I got my India ink. I'm just going to, I probably only need a few drops just for now. And then I can refill it later. I don't want to take too much time. This isn't that, <laughs> this isn't that fun to watch. I'm sorry. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Let's see. Pop that back in there. Sorry. Caterpuff. I don't know if I've seen that one. Is that a newer one? Okay, hopefully that's enough ink to get me through this. All right, where were we? Okay. Yeah, it feels like there's more ink in there now. Okay, I'm gonna put a little shadow under his chin and his mouth to fill in some dark there. Um, 
Okay, now I'm going to go over the entire outline of the character and make it a little thicker. This is just kind of a stylistic thing that I tend to do. It's not something everyone does or needs to do, but I think it helps kind of pop the character out a little bit. So I think I'm going to keep these, even though these things are black that I'm drawing now, I think I'm going to keep them white in the center. That way I can color his cape in black. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I think is the cutest miscrit. I don't know. It's been so long. I'm trying to think ones that I'm trying to think of some ones that I did. I don't know. I think my favorite miscrit that I did is still probably um ooh, um Thundercracker. I don't know, for whatever reason I like that guy. How long do those ads run? Oh, is it just when it drops out, it, it like it restarts and it shows you an ad every time? Well, if I keep having these problems, I might might get everyone's consensus and see if we can find a better solution where we're not dealing with ads and and all the dropped uh, feeds and everything, broadcasts, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think the ad thing has to do with, for whatever reason, if, I think it might be a connection thing. And I don't know if it's, maybe it's the computer, what kind of computer you're dealing with that maybe it cuts out. I don't know. But if if everyone's not getting it, then I'm guessing it it's probably not Ustream. I mean, it's probably... It's probably on whoever's end is getting the, the errors or whatever. But where we're at now, we're at, uh, or just over a little over an hour. So we'll see if this is gonna cut off on me like it did last time. So right now I'm filling in some, this thing on his boot is actually a little, it's like armor. So it's going to be a little thicker around one edge. So if the light's coming from here, it's not necessarily going to be thicker up here because it's, that's, that line should be thinner because it's the lights hitting it, which means if lights hitting it, it gives you the idea that the line would be thinner. So where, but where the, on the other side, that's where I'm drawing my shadows. So. Yeah, it's kind of the thought process behind that. Same thing under here. That's going to... Where this kind of comes across. It's going to leave a shadow. Same thing right here. Have a little bit of a shadow under here, under here, where these little brass um, clips or whatever they are. Let's see, under his, let me look at the color. I gotta look at the color version again so I can see what colors we're dealing with. So actually, yeah, a lot, actually a lot of his outfit, like a shirt under here is black. 
which I think I can still do. I think I can still do, do that and still make it look okay. Because it's the top part, the collar and this little thing right here are purple. So in this black and white version, those are going to show up white. And I will do the rest of this black. Okay, and under here is black. This cape is going to be black too. So, now since this hand is kind of going over this part of his arm, you're probably going to see some shadows in there too. boots oh so this shadow I put in here that didn't matter because his boots right here are black so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that whole thing black ooh which is kinda of gonna be in the way of the sum of the cape but I already started it so I think what I'm gonna do is put some heavy black shadows in the cape but not the whole cape black because even when you're drawing something that's black, sometimes you don't want to draw the whole thing black. You just want to put some heavy shadows or whatever in it. And then when you, if you were assuming that it was going to be colored eventually, then you can do like a dark gray or whatever. So because black isn't isn't usually just pitch black. It could be gray or dark blue or you know, a lot of times I'll use purple um, when I'm drawing blacks, just to show that it's that there's some change in color and the way light hits it and everything. What are what are met, metagross boots? <laughs> I guess I don't I've never heard that term. All right, there we go. So far, we haven't hasn't kicked me off the stream yet. So, all right, now I'm going to start filling in some of the cape. Oh, it's poke. Oh, I see. If my kids were there. They would be like, "Dad, it's from Pokemon." What? Are you crazy? My kids are huge Pokemon fans. Getting close. 
shouldn't be too much longer until I wrap this thing up. Are you watching it on your phone? Yeah, it's got to be small on a phone. I don't know how much of this you can see. All right. And I'm going to assess this thing and figure out what I still need to add. Looks like. <laughs> That's my dog sneezing. I don't know if you guys picked that up. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. So right here, you need some shadows right here. Because these are little metal pieces. Um, and I think it's getting close to being done. Oh, so I need to darken this because I didn't fill the whole thing in black. So A little shadow there. Maybe drop this and a little more shadow by where the hands are, our fingers. Oh, oh I think the straps of his vest are black up here. A lot of it's hidden. He's got some stuff going on in here. I think he's got some buckles and things. Let me see real quick. Always don't be afraid to go back and check your references. Yeah, so he's got little things here. I don't know if you can see those, but um, so anyway, those are kind of hidden by his hands, so we're not really going to see too much of that. There. Maybe just do a little more with the hair here. I think that's probably going to do it, really. All right, what do you guys think? I'll kind of move it around a little bit. So this is for you, Kay, so... What do you think? You happy with it? I hope so. I'm going to go ahead and sign my name. And there we go. Let me see if I can. I don't know if I'm afraid to try to lift this thing to get your full picture. That's about as close as I'm going to get. But. I'll take a picture of it. I'll post it on my Facebook page before I send it out. Um, so, uh, Kays, if you want to send me your your uh, address so I can get this out to you, just send it to my email address. It's scott at cirqueworks.com. Um, and if any of you guys aren't following me on Facebook, um, you could have a chance to win a sketch like this if you're following me. So might not be a bad idea. You can follow me at Facebook slash cirqueworks. Um, you can also, you can, if you want to check out other stuff I'm doing, you can find me on uh, my website, cirqueworks.com, uh, Twitter at cirqueworks, all that good stuff. So I think this will wrap up another live stream. Like I said, next for you guys that were interested in this, if you're Miscrit fans, uh, next week, I'm not exactly sure what day yet. But again, if you follow me on Facebook, um, I will make an announcement to let you know as soon as I know what day and what time it's going to be. Um, but I will be doing, I will be finishing up like the Lost Miscrit, which is the Fire Ant. 
or hopefully I don't know how long how much more time I have involved in that particular misgrit so it might not be the whole thing um, but I'll spend about an hour on it and if I can get it done in an hour it's pretty far along it's uh, mostly I think I've got one evolution totally done and then the other three are are flat colored I think if I remember correctly so it's just gonna be a lot of shading and everything but you'll get to see kind of the, the final process of creating a misgrid if you're into that. So uh, next week I will, catch, I will catch up with you guys then. So like I said, feel free to follow me. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's been awesome. And I will get, see you guys next week. Take it easy.